Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Filming the Wild. My name is Alan Lacey and I'm a wildlife filmmaker, cameraman, and producer. And today I am working with Sigma's latest lens, their 500 millimeter f5.6 DGDN for mirrorless. It's a prime lens, it's incredible. <laughs> Honestly, I've had my hands on it for just a couple days now. It's super lightweight, it's super robust. The image quality is incredible. Um, it, it actually surpasses my 60 to 600 Sigma that I have. Um, it's way more sharp, um, so it's, it's just a fantastic lens. And I, I've been out here in Yellowstone for the last few days. Um, I've had this lens, I think, for four days now. So I wanted to get this video up to you guys so you can see what this lens is all about, how it works, how it operates, and tell you a little bit about it, but more importantly, show you what it can do and the footage that I'll have at the end of this video. So if you're into wildlife filmmaking or photography, um, this is what this channel is all about. So go ahead and, and give this video a, a like, give it a thumb, give it that thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more about wildlife filmmaking, kind of the behind the scenes of what it is. Um, all right, enough talking about that. Um, so anyways, this lens, it is incredible. Um, all right, the notes say it's 48.3 ounces. That's about the same weight as their 70 to 200 that they just released uh, earlier this, or earlier last year, or later last year. Um, and just like that 70 200, it has a manual aperture ring, which I absolutely love, because especially being here in Yellowstone, it's been rather cold. It's actually kind of warm today. It's just barely above freezing. And this aperture ring allows me to have my gloves on and actually move through my um, different apertures that I want to use for this camera, um, rather than having to dig into with the buttons and dials or my A7S III using the dials. Um, it's really nice having it right here. It allows you my hands to stay warm, which is a great feature. I think all lenses should do this, to be honest. Um, another thing about it, it's got your normal, you know, autofocus, manual focus, all of your custom um, settings here for your lens profiles, etc. And the optical stabilization on this lens is really quite incredible. Um, it has five stops of uh, optical stabilization at the 500 millimeters and it's actually amazing when you handhold it and you move through the focal range all throughout it it's absolutely amazing what it is capable of so this lens is incredible for fast moving subjects um, with that optical stabilization and the, the autofocus system in here as well the autofocus uses that sigma's new um, hla that their high response linear actuator system for their autofocus um, and it is extremely quick to subject. Uh, when I've used it on the A7S III, it was always right on target. I've used it with the FX6, which is using very similar systems as the A7S III, and again, right on target and extremely quick and never misses, and I, I've been impressed with that. There's a couple times in the snow where there was some issues hunting and finding focus because I can't find a nice point to focus on um, due to the, just the, the blur out of snow, um, which is, you know, a given you're just gonna have to deal with that um, so finding good objects that you can actually focus on is, is helpful but another thing that Sigma did is they actually used refractive lenses instead of diffract diffractive lenses um, lens elements etc um, which actually helps eliminate flare and ghosting in your images um, or videography um, which is a really awesome feature to have because oftentimes when you're filming sometimes that I mean, sometimes flare, you like those good lens flares, but sometimes it really gets annoying when you're working in an environment, especially on the wild with, with sunlight and here in Yellowstone with snow, it gets a lot of light coming in from a lot of different angles. Um, so that has really helped cut down on all that ghosting and the flares. Um, and it's, the image is extremely clean. We've had a lot of uh, overcast days, so haven't had a lot of sunny days to really put that to test, but our first couple days were pretty sunny. Um, wildlife has been kind of slow this year, so I haven't had a lot of opportunities, but had some really good stuff with um, some bison, some pronghorn, um, as well as uh, some wolves from a long, long, long ways away. Um, they were on a bison kill, which was really quite cool. Um, I really hope Sigma puts together some of their extenders for the mirrorless. Um, the 1.4 and the 2 by would be amazing because um, it extends that reach, obviously, which would be incredible here in Yellowstone. Um, 500 mil, you got to, I mean, you, you don't have to be close, but being close and closer than um, probably a lot of the other sightings I've had would be would have been great to have those extenders, which would have got me right in there. Um, but for what this is, it's incredible for wildlife, and incredible, it's an incredible lens. This lens is also weather sealed. Um, it's actually really quite robust, and giving the light weight it is, it's very durable. You hold it in your hands, and it just feels really strong and sturdy. It's weather sealed, so all of the internal mechanisms are going to be protected from weather. Um, out here in Yellowstone, it snowed a few days when we were out filming, and this lens handled it like a champ. Um, so I really do think this lens is incredible. Um, if you're a wildlife filmmaker or a photographer, I would highly consider getting one of these because it is 
The image quality for me is kind of where it sells it at and then the lightweight aspect of it. When you're out in the field, um, if you're especially a photographer and you're not carrying around all this gear and you're just hand holding your camera and lens, this is in the package deal with how light it is you're going to be able to carry it pretty much all day and have no problems because it's so much lighter than all the other options out there on the market at this uh, focal length. Um, you're going to have a much easier time getting the shots you need for a longer duration out in the field in some demanding situations. So it's a really great lens. Uh, I wanted to talk briefly about it, but more importantly, I wanted to show more of the footage about what this lens can do. So um, again, if you like this kind of stuff, begin, be sure to uh, give that that thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, comment if, you, uh, if there's something that you'd like to know about the lens. Um, I'd be happy to answer questions. Um, anyways, let's get into the footage and uh, I, I guarantee you're gonna love it. <laughs> 